What's up guys? Josh here with Lead Farmers Tactical. Um, today we're doing one of our two first videos that are going to be very light editing and no real post-production stuff. Just kind of give you guys an idea of what type of videos we're going to be doing. Uh, today's video we're going to be going over the Velocity System Lightweight Play Carrier, uh, some first initial impressions, the Haley Strategic D3CR and how it integrates, as well as some of my impressions about that particular piece of kit, and then the hydration carrier integration that I told you guys that we were going to do. Before we go into the actual play carrier I got over here, I want to show you guys what I was using previously. So when I first got out of the military, uh, sticking kind of to that whole infantry mindset, I got something that was very similar to our um, IBAs or the individual body armor that we got issued when I first went over to Iraq. It's a uh, obviously a camo pattern uh, this is multi-cam and it's got all the molly webbing front back sides everything's molly uh, real thick a lot of padding real wide shoulder straps and just kind of a, a heavier piece of kit that you can attach pretty much everything to uh, eventually I ended up stripping it down to just this which is a six magazine um, like pa uh, panel here as well as it did have um, a medical kit and some other things here, some comms. And on the back I had a, a hydration carrier system that threaded through all the molly. And this is the Condor QPC. I, I mean it's a good good piece of gear. Uh, it's got a little pull handle here that you can pull on and the whole thing will come apart so it's easy to get it off. Uh, it takes a little step to get it back together. And I liked it but I started moving towards, um, I realized I wasn't actually training to fight big battles a whole lot anymore. We weren't running through Fallujah or anything. So uh, I started stripping down and kind of moving towards a lighter weight setup. Uh, so got rid of this, which I mean obviously still got it, but <clears throat> I moved away from that and moved into trying to go lightweight, something that's easier to conceal if you need to. I mean, not trying to pretend like I'm some big covert tactics guy, but concealability for bugging out, shit hits the fan kind of situation. Maybe you don't want to appear as a prepper or somebody with a bunch of gear. So something you could put a coat on or heavier um, shirt. You're not all geared up and tacked out. You're, you're more moving away from a threat, but you want to be protected. So I was between the Velocity Systems plate carrier and the Mayflower APC. This is the Velocity Systems one, the one that I chose. Um, and the reason I was between those two was mainly for the D3CR integration. I had read up on this chest rig. I did a lot of research. I really liked where it came from. Um, I have a lot of respect for Haley, uh, Travis Haley, and the company he set up and his training and everything. So it was endorsed by him. He helped design it. And it's a great chest rig. Um, when you get it, you would push this off here. When you get the chest rig, you're basically getting this panel right here. So it's got four magazine holders, uh, two pistol mag holders, which have magnets in here to hold the mags in if you have a metal mag, and that's really nice. So even with the retention off, they still retain very well in there. And then you can fill them when you stick them back in here that they kind of stick into the magnets which is like I said really cool feature they've got a couple of general purpose uh, velcro pouches here on the end which apparently are sized properly to fit the g-code in cog holster which is there in the waistband appendix carry holster so that you can also carry your pistol on your chest rig I've been thinking about getting one and seeing how it integrates and um, kind of checking that out and then this little stuff it pouch which holds pretty much anything solid. I've got a spare mag in there because you can actually take this retention cord and pull it up over the magazine and it'll hold in pretty well. Or if you don't have anything in there, you can just pull this cord, it's laced through here, and it pulls the pouch basically flat. And if you need to open it up, just reach in there and pull it open and, and you're good to go. So when you get it, it'll have an H style harness which is eclipsed to the two male buckles here on the top and the two female buckles here on the side. So it goes up over your chest, it's got an H suspender style uh, connector in between, and then it comes around under your arms and clips in here. And these other two female buckles basically clip into 
a around the waist belt, just a single piece. Um, on the back, it does have this Velcro panel, which is designed for partial integration into the velocity systems. It was designed to fit the velocity system lightweight plate carrier specifically. Um, and if you're not using it on a plate carrier, it comes with a piece of nylon with the loop side of the Velcro. It just kind of sticks on here and covers it up so you can put it on. It's not grabbing your shirt or clothes or anything and not skidding you up. So, like I said, I really like this. It was a little pricey considering what type of play, uh, chest rigs you can get out there. Uh, this one runs you about $180 off their site. You might be able to find it cheaper in other locations. Um, but it's really well made, a lot of good features, and I'll do a full review on it later. And they do have the original one, which is mainly for AR magazines, as well as a heavy, which is designed for 308 platforms. Um, they also have some add-ons now that I haven't really had a chance to get my hands on, but I've seen them on their site, which are basically like a little panel that Velcro's back here. Still has the hook Velcro on the back side of it, but either has like a magazine slot in it or they have one that's a um, like a holster it's just mainly like a big pouch and you can stick a holster down there and it'll hold you know your your sidearm or your pistol behind your chest ring so it's good as a standalone thing I think on a chest uh, plate carrier it would add a lot of extra bulk but good features they also have like a thing that clips on the bottom now it's like an admin pouch like a big admin pouch um, but I just have the chest rig, and I like it a lot. It's a good, good rig, and I really like running it at the range on days where I'm not trying to do a bunch of tactical training, where maybe I'm running with some of my three-gun buddies. Even though I'm not a three-gunner and I'm not a competition guy, I'll go run with them and try and do what they do just for a little extra experience, a little training in a different area. So um, I like this, and I really wanted to base my plate carry decision off of it. So... Like I said, I was between the Velocity Systems Lightweight Plate Carrier and the Mayflower APC. Uh, Mayflower APC is actually made in conjunction with Velocity Systems. Uh, it looks very similar to this. It's nearly identical except it has molly all over it. Um, the, the entire front and back is covered in molly. As well as the cummerbund, instead of being laced together in the back, this one has, it's a two-piece cummerbund. It laces across and then it's got like a little cord keeper on it. Um, it's a Velcro style on the Mayflower APC. So when you get this, um, it, it's very slick, it's very lightweight. This one's already got plates in it, so we've got the added uh, weight there, as well as soft Kevlar um, shrapnel rated pads behind the plates, just for an extra like trauma pad or ballistic pad so that you have some padding behind it. And then it's got Velcro wherever you would normally have all your molly. So you've got your patch panel area up here. So I got my morale patch. Um, and then this is the Velcro that is designed to be used with like the D3CR and the velocity um, add on panels that are designed for this. It has a little small uh, admin pouch up top so you can keep maps or, you know, pokey bait or whatever type of, you want, Snickers, Twinkies, whatever you want to put in there. And then you have a bigger pouch right here that's Velcroed in that they have inserts that'll fit in here, like magazine inserts, or you could put in like a uh, pistol holster there and run it behind your, your chest rig or something like that, which is full length of this... Um, this front panel here so that's a good feature and it's got a nice little pull tab there and it does come with the female side of the swift clips already on the plate here now every video I've seen guys that were integrating one of these panels or something like that they were showing it with the swift clip females up here as well as the male um, there's four male straps that clip onto the side on the molly and come around and buckle into these female clips on here this doesn't come with that. I have no idea why. I, I thought that was like Velocity Systems big selling point on this is it's Swift Clip capable out of the box and then you can buy the Swift Clip set for other plate carriers or other body armor or something like that. Uh, the only thing they give you is the females. I mean you really that's all you really need when you get the same attached. This Velcro on this with these two clips, I have no doubt that it would stay on there. However, 
If they're going to market it as Swift Clip, they should probably have the sides. That's just my personal opinion. Uh, it also doesn't come with the shoulder pads. I bought that separately uh, because I wanted something to route all the tubes through and straps and everything, and I wanted a little extra padding. That was just me. Uh, for the integration that we're going to be showing you, you can do without these. They are only like 10 or 15 bucks, but if you do without these, you're probably going to want to get some 100 mile an hour tape or 550 cord or elastic bands or something to hold the straps down to the top of your shoulder straps. Um, so that's just where I'd go with that. Um, the only molly on it is on the cummerbund, and you can attach little pouches here, or as it's intended, you can attach the swift clip system to any one of these little row panels here. Uh, the whole plate carrier will run you about 160 to 170 bucks uh, off of Appalachian Training, which is a good site to buy it from. You can find them all over the rest of the web for on up to about 200 bucks. The Mayflower APC is about 220, and I didn't see it cheaper anywhere else. So, just to let you know, about 220 for the Mayflower APC. And the biggest complaint that I saw when guys were comparing the two and trying to decide between them was that the Lightweight plate carrier here does not have hydration carrier integration, which is true out of the box. They don't have an advertised method for doing it. But I'm going to show you that you can do it. It's easy to do. And you can actually do it and stick with the kind of the spirit of this plate carrier, which means it's got a very quick on-off system. It's, it's modular, if you want to call it that, very similar to this. It attaches actually almost in an identical fashion to a chest rig like this and uh, you're going to make no permanent modifications to your um, hydration carrier or to the plate carrier. So uh, let me go ahead and we'll strip the hydration carrier off here and I'm going to show you how we're going to put it back on and show you what we did to build up around it. Like I said, uh, if you're concerned about money and you're looking between the $160 LWPC and the Mayflower APC, which between these two, money would probably be the, the smallest option you're looking for. But if you do want to keep it lightweight but have the, the hydration carrier option, I actually came out cheaper than buying a Mayflower APC and then buying a hydration carrier by doing this with the hydration carrier and the extra parts I had to get for it. So we go ahead and strip it down. I'll be right back, and I'll show you guys what we did. All right, guys. So what I've got here is two identical hydration carriers. Um... That this one was originally on my multicam uh, play care I showed you guys a minute ago and they're both from Condor and I forget what the model number is I'll try and get it and put it in the description below so that you guys can look it up if you want but um, it's Condor HC something or other it's got a velcro flap here for putting in your hydration uh, carrier and then it's got some tube routing velcro and my other one has a hook in here for holding your bladder up. So these run about 25 or 30 bucks depending on if it's in multicam or not and also if you're going to be getting it with a bladder already in there or if you're going to use your own and it's just coming as just the shell. So what this entails, it has the Molly compatibility right here. Um, so you can lace your Molly. It's two separate sets of lacing so you got the top laces there's two of them bottom laces there's two of here and your backpack strap system that it comes with so the backpack strap system the top one just goes it's got a d-ring here that goes the molly lacing goes through it and snaps down and then you've got your bottom part which basically has a sewed on loop on the end of the nylon strap so you loop it through this piece of molly here, you wrap it around and stick it through itself and then pull it tight and you have your bottom part of the strap. And it comes in half, you have a male buckle on the bottom, female buckle on the top, and then there's a sternum strap. Um, now we used everything out of the box and we used it with a swift clip system. I'm going to let you know that the bottom part of the straps, we ended up pulling this male buckle off because it didn't work with the female swift clip that goes up here on your chest and we used the buckles off of the extra set of swift clip male buckles so you're only going to need one pair of the swift clip male buckles for this integration the other pair you can either use with your um, chest rig integration like I did 
or you could just set them off to the side if you don't need them. So, like I said, top part's got the female, bottom part has the male, they snap together, and with the sternum strap here, what we did was we basically just unlaced it, all you gotta do is pull this back through the, the buckle keeper here, and it will come off, and then we just kind of set it to the side because we didn't need any of the sternum strap parts. So I'm going to go ahead and set this over here, you know what you're working with. So basically what we did was we just reversed the order of the straps. We put the female, or the, um, yeah, the female top part that was originally up here, we laced it around this horizontal molly in the middle through the D-rings, and then put the molly lacings in place, and then pulled this through on the bottom. So it comes around almost like a waist belt, and yet, except you did have two females and they're scissoring, they don't fit together. We took the bottom part of the straps, we moved them up top, and like I said, we replaced the buckles that were on here. We just unthreaded the lacing out of there and put the male buckle off the swift clip system and got it pulled through and pulled it tight. So it's attached here. I guess technically you could do it like this and it would still be backpack, sort of, but that's not the intention. We have these coming out like the waist belt, these coming over like they are still, the shoulder straps are just on the top. And then we also took a piece of Velcro, cut some slots in it. This is four inch wide Velcro. It came on like a two foot roll and it had the um, the hook side already on it, so we, or the loop side on it. So we took the loop side, tossed it off to the side, took the loop side here, or the hook side here, and cut it to fit so it was the right size, cut slots in it, and then wove the molly lace through it. Now I told you guys that you were going to be able to do this with off the shelf parts I think in my last video and I mean that you can. Uh, Vertex makes a velcro panel that's just like this. I want to say it's they, they have a one wide set. It's got one set of slots down for molly. They got one that's two wide and then one that's four wide. And it's called the Vertex Molly Adapter Panel or the Vertex Map. Uh, you can do this with that part off the shelf. It already has all the slots cut. You just weave it in. Boom, you got your Velcro on there. The reason that I didn't go ahead and do that is even though I like you guys and I want to help you out, the Vertex panel was $20 um, just for plain hook Velcro. I mean, that's all it is. And I wouldn't mind spending 20 bucks on some friggin' Velcro. So I just bought this roll of Velcro that I spent less than $5 for a whole roll of it. Like I said, like two feet roll, and cut the slots in there myself. If you want the clean, fancy looking, I pay 20 bucks for this look, knock yourself out. Um, but if you just buy the four inch wide Velcro roll, you can screw this up like eight or nine times and still not have spent the same price that you did for the other one. Um, so we've woven this in on the top of the, the hydration carrier. We've got our straps here, we've got our, our bottom uh, straps that come around like a belt. And then what you do for the integration, we have a light, lightweight plate carrier here. You're going to take one set of the swift clip male buckles and you're going to attach them to the side here. It helps to put it on so you know where your first set of molly is that's not under here and the buckles just clip in they have like a little plastic black ring with a slot in it and you can slide it right over here then it hooks on the bottom Let's if you're worried about them coming off I wouldn't be they don't look like they're going anywhere and this is a really good plastic piece it's not cheap you know Chinese crap um, and this one still has the swift clip um, male buckle on it. If you wanted to move the the male buckle that was originally on these bottom straps to here so that it's a guaranteed or precise fit with the female buckle that's already on here, you could do that. I found out they fit pretty well and it clipped together just fine so I didn't bother with it. Um, and this is the second set of Swift Clip um, male pieces that come with it and like I said I just left these on here the right way for uh, the chest rig integration. The female clip that comes with it they're supposed to attach just like this female part that comes with your chest uh, your plate carrier. 
Now, one of the things that I didn't realize I was going to get into, when I was looking at it online and when I was getting ready to buy this, from what it looked like in the pictures the best I could see, was that you had two levels that you could move this uh, female swift clip to, which you can. Uh, if you don't have this on here, you can move it up one, and it'll fit between here and, and like right here. However, it's not long enough that you can actually attach this top swift clip with this one on the play carrier. So they don't actually ride together. I was a little bit disappointed by that because it, it would have made it a lot easier to do. However, to keep this from flopping around, your um, shoulder straps here have this little loop on them, this little pull loop. And so I just thread it through the pull loop and when you wear it, the pull loop is actually pulled kind of tight. So it keeps this from just randomly flopping around and banging around like it's still got some play in it, but nothing much. Uh, what I would like to see is Velocity Systems add a loop similar to this in the width of the Molly right here that's pretty low profile. So you could actually hook this in and it would be something that could advertise as hydration carrier integration. Um, so I'm going to let them know about that and you know at least send in my opinion on adding this so that you can have that extra integration ability. So we've got our swift clips here, swift clips here, and then you're going to need this velcro panel that's already made on. So all you'll have to do to integrate it, I'm going to go ahead and turn this around. You're going to take your hydration carrier here and you're going to just stick the velcro on so that you have it velcroed in there. The easiest way to go ahead and do this is just come down here while you've got it standing up and you're going to hook the buckles into the sides here. So it comes and it'll follow your cover bund. Then do the same thing over here on this side. So it's kind of loose right now. Once you get it on, these things kind of tighten up and this doesn't really move around as much as it looks like it would right now. Now for me, because I did invest in the shoulder pads because I'm old and weak and decrepit and I like padding. Um, for we're using the shoulder pads, you open up this flap now they don't come off the shoulder uh, strap right now because they have these little elastic bands that hold them on. Um, so you don't technically need this. You could wrap things underneath these straps if you wanted to, but it's really easy because you can just lay the strap over right here, clip it in to the female buckle, and then use the flap as kind of your your strap keeper and keeps things from falling off your shoulders and sliding down. So you're gonna have to do that on both sides. So we're going to bring the strap over, hook it into the female buckle. Now while I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and bring my tube over because this is the way I'd probably run it so that it's not just flopping off my shoulder and banging around. i got to reach back and grab it. So I can bring it over the top, stick it inside this buckle here so it's not on the outside, not going to like pull out or anything and then close the flap up, which the flap will close and velcro with that tube in there. So you've got that routed. So you could use this even for more routing if you had like some comms cords or something else that you're bringing from back to front or front to back. You know, you could route them through here and it would hold everything together. So we now have it integrated. Uh, because these do sit up a little bit off the, the chest of the plate carrier, you can actually stick your tube in there so it keeps it from actually dangling. You know, you got it a little bit more secured. You can get one of those two keeper clips or something if you wanted to, but but stick it through there, you're good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how this all looks when you've got it on. So get it pulled over your head. Once you've got everything sized up, you're gonna to wanna to do that before you start integrating anything. Go ahead, this panel here. Pulls up for the Velcro. Pull your cummerbund around. Get it all Velcroed in. Do the same thing with this side. Which we'll do a little bit more probably on fitting your plate carrier in a later video as well as a good review of all the features of this, especially after we've had time to run it. Now, one of the things I don't really care for, this extra piece, this little keeper, goes behind the plate carrier and attached to the back in between your chest and the plate carrier. I feel like that's overkill with all the Velcro's on this. 
it's not going anywhere. But if you need to, I mean, flip that back there, filters in, and now this can't get pulled up because it's got another set of friction on the back. So we've got the plate here on. You can see these aren't real loose. They fit really well. Uh, we've got our hydration carrier here. Look at my ass. I'm sorry. Um, and it's hooked in over the top. You got your tube, everything set up. And like I said, it attaches very similar to the Haley Strategic D3CR. So you can get it on, you can get it off, you can do whatever you gotta do. With your D3CR, I mean, these are real easy to attach. I mean, you can do it while you're standing here. One of the easiest ways to go ahead and do this, kick it out, go ahead and hook the buckles in first, and then Velcro it down. Uh, if you're in like a true life or death situation where you're instantly trying to grab this, obviously what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab it, you're just gonna stick it on there, and do what you gotta do. If you have time to buckle it, you'll buckle it. If you don't, you're just gonna use the Velcro. And then once you got that on there, like I said, you got these swift clips on the side that attach directly to it to kind of hold everything in place and tighten it down. Again, like I said, I would love to see velocity systems. Velocity systems, if you're listening, should really come with the swift clip system already so that you could have the top pull back as well. I mean, right now as it is, I'm going to spend another 20 bucks to get a full swift clip system just to get those extra two side buckles which obviously I'll have spare parts in case one of these gets smashed or you know, broken or something like that but I feel like that should have come with this system so here it is it's all set up it's fairly comfortable um, like I said I went with the mesh cummerbund that doesn't allow for side plates because I wanted the lowest profile I could get so if I completely strip this down I could reasonably conceal it under a looser fitting button up shirt or a big coat or something like that so if I had to get the hell out of Dodge and I wanted to do it without drawing a lot of attention to myself I could cover this up and I don't look like I am you know militarized or trying to be some hua hua high speed operator or something like that I just look like I've got it covered up so um, as far as taking everything apart if you do have, want to quickly disassemble it while you're wearing it I mean you can Pop these out of here, pop the bottom uh, straps loose, that peels off very easily. Like I said, keeping with the spirit here, all I'd have to do, reach around, pop these off, open up my shoulder straps, which like I said, they're not coming off. Pop the clips, pull this all back, and I can actually reach back here, peel the whole thing off. And now I'm back to just my plate carrier. Uh, putting it back on, probably going to want to have the plate carrier off to reassemble this part. You can put this on while you're wearing it. And I'm sure if you really wanted to, you could put this on while you're wearing it, but it seems like a waste of effort. Not very efficient. You're going to be fumbling around trying to get things up. So that is the lightweight plate carrier, the hydration integration I promised you guys, and a little quick few notes about the Haley Strategic D3CR. Once we've got more time running this in the field and uh, running at the range, seeing how everything works out, I'm going to give you a little better review on this. I have been using this for probably close to a year, so I'll make sure I get a review up for that if you guys want to see it and let you guys know how everything's going. So really appreciate you guys watching our videos and checking out our channel. Uh, you can go check out our Facebook. It's facebook.com forward slash lead farmers tactical all one word uh, you guys can go over there give us a like subscribe to the videos leave comments here or there and let us know how we're doing what you think or what you'd like to see and we really appreciate any of your input as well as your support so you guys thanks very much have a great day remember knowing is half the battle the other half is violence